praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters in christ as we are on the second sunday of lent the readings invite us to climb two mountains onto the mount of moria with abraham a figure of sacrifice and obedience and onto mount tabor with the three disciples to recognize Christ's divinity and glory. In the first reading from the book of Genesis, we encounter the dramatic story of Abraham's test and faith on Mount Moriah. God asks Abraham to sacrifice his only son, the son of promise, the son of his old age, which is a heartbreaking and painful demand. But Abraham surrendered to God's plan in obedience because of his deep faith in the providential care of God through his previous experiences. In our own lives, like Abraham, we too are called to climb the Mount Moriah to sacrifice our own wills and plans to God, manifesting our obedience and faithfulness to Him. Now, second reading, Paul speaks about his conviction and uh, God's care and protection in the challenges of life. Paul reminds us that if we stand on God's side, nothing and no one can stand against us. He asks us, if God is for us, who can be against us? He also mentions about God's providential care as he writes, He who did not spare his own only son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? The reading invites us to place our total confidence and trust in God. Now daily humdrum, topsy-turvy lives. The gospel narrative of today tells us about the transfiguration event on Mount Tabor, where Christ reveals his divine glory to his three intimate disciples, Peter, James, and John. The speak experience of his divinity is to strengthen them in their faith and trust in Jesus as they are going to face the impending rejection, arrest, torture, crucifixion, and death of Jesus. On Mount Tabor, the disciples see his divine glory and hear the assuring words of, from the Father. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. And this revelation once again strengthened their faith in Jesus. We too are invited in this sacred season to grow into a deep and intimate relationship with Jesus, like those three disciples. Like Peter, James and John, we too are called to climb the mount tables of our lives and the mount table of solitude and prayer and experience His divine glory, peace, and happiness. So that when we climb our own calvaries in life, calvaries of self-doubt, disappointment, and darkness, those peak moments, experiences of Mount Tabor may keep us strong, firm, unshakable, as St. Paul said, who shall separate me from the love of Christ? Child hardship? or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? No, in all these things, we are more conquerors through Him who loved us. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, as we journey through this holy season of Lent, let's find daily some moments of quiet prayer and silence to deepen our faith and trust in the Lord. We are urged by our Heavenly Father to listen to His Son and to follow Him. In this sacred season, let's allow the Lord to speak to us through daily readings 
and reflections on the word of god and active participation in the eucharistic celebration may this lenten season be a time of profound spiritual growth for each one of us may we embrace the call to deepen our faith confidence in christ may god bless you abundantly on your lenten journey amen for further updates subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon thanks for watching